Welcome to My Best 7 Global. I'm Mark. If you're interested in getting better, this is the place to be. This video is a part of my Grandpa's Who Golf exclamation mark workout series. We're working on a fit turn. Low intense exercises with a high payoff return. Somewhere up here, the first Grandpa's Who Golf fit turn video will pop up, as well as eventually the first first video I did, which is much higher in intensity. I listened to my mom and I scaled it back a little bit. Well, I scaled it back a lot because seniors, as my mom says, do not get on the ground. And so what do we need for this workout? We need a couple things, just a couple. We need a club or a stick. When we turn, I'm, I'm using a Titleist MB 7167 iron, potentially outside of my abilities. I need something longer that we're going to use, put over our head and back. We can also use this as our center line for our turn. It's nice and green. We need something to put between our legs. It benefits a grandpa's who golf is at home, right? Boom. I'm going to use a basketball today to squeeze it. And when I turn and do my exercises, you can also use a heavy ball if you're more fit. And last, if you want to raise the intensity, it's your choice. All, all, all exercises can be changed immediately just by, with weight. There's, there's, there's a, a bar, an, arm bell, an arm curl is an arm curl. You throw on 150 pounds, it becomes harder. You put on a weight vest, you'll immediately feel the difference. Okay, so let's go over our exercises. I'm going to, I'll just use the pillow as a demonstration. We're going to work as before on getting in a reasonable golf position. Part of it, again, of, of the, why seniors need help with golf, everybody needs help with golf except tour pros, is that you just don't know. You picked up the sport and you play with your friends. Your friends, you know, they're fun, but maybe they don't play so well. And, and you don't know what position is the correct position. So we're just going to somehow lean over a little bit, something that's reasonable. And then when we turn, we're going to squeeze in and turn, turn the other way. So I'm squeezing with my right, and then I turn. All right, so I'm going to get my back to the camera in this instance. And when we set a line down, center line, I'm going to get my shoulder. I'm going to turn, squeeze, my shoulder to the line, right? And then we're going to go left. And you say, I'm not left-handed. That doesn't matter. We're working out. We're not learning how to golf. Right. And then we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to go, we're not change it up. We're going to go the other way. All right, the other way is going forward, right? And so I'm going to start here. You can just watch my feet. I'm not going to twist. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm going to squeeze, even though, again, if this was a golf lesson, this would drop. I would open up my my hip, whatever is in between my legs would drop. We're just going to squeeze and go that way together. I'm going to get right to here. Right to here, right? So if I'm golfing, you watch TV golf or you look at pictures in magazines, people get in this type of position. You might say, whoa, Mark, I've never been in that position. I hear you. I hear you. I, I know the first time I did it, I can tell you exactly where I was standing, and the ball flight was was unbelievable, right? As opposed to just hitting it everywhere. Then we're going to go the other way. Then we're always going to go with our go-to. Take a break. Stand up tall. We're going to do some exercises that are no fun at all, right? We're going to chop, work our hip flexors, and we're going to crunch down and work our sides. So we're working all about getting a fit turn, right? No fun. What is fun is hitting great golf shots. I have to look at my list. Then we're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to start out in this position here. I'm not squeezing, I'm just holding. 
shoulder here. I'm going to go slowly. Now I'm going to squeeze and I'm going to get back to here. And whoa, does that make a difference? All right? Then we'll go left. Then we will again chop. No fun at all. We're going to cross chop. Last but not least, we're going to probably use the ball at all times. I'm going to, I'm just going to change the angle and we go like that. All right. Ten great minutes. As always, one man show. I'm going to hit stop and then we're going to get right into it. Let's get after it. We have about ten seconds to get into it. I'll start with the ball. We're going to squeeze and turn back right. Three, two, one. Squeeze and turn. How long are we doing this for? Squeeze and turn. About 45 seconds. Squeeze and turn. Why? Squeeze and turn. 45 seconds is a reasonable amount of time. So you should see the squeeze and a turn. Squeeze, get behind the ball. Right. Squeeze, get behind the ball. Squeeze, and turn. Okay, now we're gonna go left. I don't know if it matters where the club head is. I don't know if it matters. I just change it around for fun. That does feel awkward, but because I'm not left-handed. Right, I'm not a left-handed golfer. Two. One, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn. All right, so where does power come from? One source, creating tension so I can unleash, squeeze and turn. If you simply just sway, you have to swing the club <laughs> really fast to get any power. Squeeze and turn. Squeeze and turn. Okay, now we're going to go forward. Here we go. Ten great minutes, ten quick minutes. Goes by quickly. I'm just going to squeeze and go this way, right? I'm squeezing and I'm going this way. All right? My feet are rolling, squeezing, pushing myself forward, going that way. And again, as with the intro, you go, whoa, whoa, I've never been there. I hear you. Number one problem in golf is probably taking it inside on the takeaway. Two is probably swaying. And three is standing up. All right, it's all in order. Take it inside with a sway. I stand up. Okay? Go that way. So just pushing that way. We're rolling this way. Four, three, going that way, going that way, going that way. Most likely, it's probably true. About you want 70, 80 percent of your weight to go from here to there. I just want to stay on the ball. Obviously, I can move that green line. Right? If I'm hitting a driver, be further that way. That's not the point. The point is a fit turn. There we go. I'm going to keep with the ball. I put this over my head. Why am I doing that? Anytime you squeeze, 
It goes right up your rear, up your back, and it makes it harder. What are we doing here? Working on our shoulders, and we're working on those small little muscles in the middle of our spine and of our back that help us stand up. It's going to help us make a better golf turn. It's going to help us as a grandpa, grandma, great grandma, great grandpa to not be hunched over. The whole world's hunched over. It's a burden of the cost of watching shows on iPads and phones. As I said before, it's part of grandparent. You, you get to sit and lean over and watch your grandkids. There we go. Okay. We're going to move this to the side chop. <coughs> fun. Nope, not fun at all. Almost embarrassing to do it on camera. All right, that's why grandpas and golfers at home. I'm going to squeeze my side. I'm squeezing my side. This becomes immediately harder with the weighted ball. It becomes immediately harder with ankle weights. You do both. I don't think you'll become Arnold Schwarzenegger as a young man. But it will make a difference over time. How many? I have no idea. 45 seconds is my rule. I think I get right back at it. Here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm starting out here. No squeeze, squeeze, and back. And that will absolutely light you up. Start squeezing, lit up. Start squeezing, lit up. All right. Coming down, I start squeezing in, and I rotate around. Squeeze in, and I rotate around. That is a doozy. I golf every day. Squeeze in, and I practice these exercises filming because I mess up all the time. I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Squeeze in, and there. There we go. And it's hard every single time. If you've got the timer, you know, at three minutes, we're going to start here and go left like we're a lefty. I'm here, I come, I squeeze, and I go back. I start here, I come, I squeeze, and I turn back. Depending on your level of flexibility, squeeze and turn back. That's how far back you can go. Squeeze and turn back. When we get to golf stuff, I'm a short squeeze and come back. I am not a full John Daly over the head golfer. Squeeze. I'll come back. There we go. Moves quickly. Okay. I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Chops. Embarrassing. That's what it's supposed to do. Sideways. Here we go. Side. Side. Really crunching. I'm really hard to do it and talk. Really crunching. All I got to do is finish strong. This another exercise. Put the video together. Upload. And go see Jackson at Meadowbrook. Again, weighted ball. Ankle weights. Immensely harder. A couple more. Okay, I'm going to lean over again for a different angle, 
probably about 14 of them. I got to look up to see the clock, of course. Here we go now. Finish strong. Joy of grandparenting, of course, one is loving on your grandkids. Watching them grow up. And then making them become golfers. And two are not five and two yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna be golfers. One more. As always, turn off the timer. It's just me. Exercise is medicine. Everybody can benefit. Do I think a tour pro, do I think Phil Mickelson benefits from this? I think he does with weights on him. Yes, I think he does. I think all grandparents can benefit. I think all great grandparents can benefit. I think anybody who's beginning a game of golf can immediately, those groups can immediately benefit. As always, what I do now, go golfing. That's what you do now, go golfing. If you're not, another video will pop up. If not, have a great day. As always, we say share it with a friend. Even better, share it with an enemy. The world needs less hate. Thanks for sticking with me.